All right, so now I'm using Audacity instead of uh, the Windows uh, standard microphone recorder. And what I did to fix my microphone, since uh, it was too low, uh, I simply went on the right bottom corner of Windows 7 and I right clicked, selected recording devices, went to microphone properties and I checked on the levels for a microphone boost of 20 decibels and it sounds better now and that's what I wanted and since this is the second time I'm recording the same uh, the same monologue I know pretty much what I wanted to to tell you as a follow-up to the first video <coughs> which means that uh, Maybe the idea of making a a video every single day is not as hard as it seems. And let's just take a look at the front page of YouTube. So people who use YouTube and are not uh, lying to themselves, they use it because if they find it to be useful. And of course, that's my case and even though I take the trouble of selecting and eliminating channels that I don't want to be subscribed to I end up with a bunch of content anyway because this is a psychological feature that YouTube forces you into there are many videos that are presented on your first page and not uh, not many of these are from your subscriptions it's not a subscription subscription model anymore so let's read the first one Lean Beige and Matt Easton discuss skirmishing that's not from the Lean, Lean Beige channel by the way that's from another channel it's called at Gladiatoria and the second one, Libertarian explains to socialists why taxation is that, which is ridiculous. Writing a Python program, simple workflow, okay. The next one, ultra high dose psilocybin and the future humanity. Next one, Freeman Dyson, a rebel without a PhD, okay. Turbo Knight, Rise of the Machines, why don't country flags use the color purple? Why can't this world record be beaten? This world record be beaten, the impossible, and then cuts there. Family Guy, Peter is a toothpick guy. Um, why the rich like high taxes? The reason for almost all mental illnesses by Peterson and world's first webcam computer fail. Computer file fail, yeah. So if I simply add up the time of these videos, let's do it. 11 plus 4 plus 13 plus 75 plus 5 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 plus 10 and there we have it 146 that's 2 hours and 26 minutes okay so let's remove the fourth one which has 1 hour and 15 minutes that is 146 minus 75 and we still end up with over one hour just from opening our front page on YouTube. And and uh, let's let's do another thing. Since we remo removed one, um, let's add up another one, the next one in line, and that's a CSGO Bots 2, the new edition. Seven minutes, 71 plus seven, 78. So from simply opening the the front page of YouTube we get uh, without even scrolling down we get a uh, proposal of wasting at least one hour of your time on YouTube at various different topics and they do not uh, complement each other they might be even conflicting with each other and since most videos are done in a way that uh, compresses the subject or in a way that uh, even makes you confused on purpose 
it's uh, it's something that will lead you watching more videos basically that's the secret and 78 minutes becomes th three hours easily than six hours if you have a lot of free time <coughs> if I scroll down it becomes ridiculous it goes to the point of uh, you have to use your intuition to decide if you're going to watch uh, any of these and since there are a lot of these when you're saying yes or no to any of these you have to say uh, to say it considering all the others and at least you something that's called choice paralysis and choice paralysis happens every day and you probably don't even notice it enough to address it and avoid it it does happen and the problem is that uh, at this level you have to basically give up analysis and go with intuition so to thrive in this environment you have to develop a strong intuition the point of uh, this video is to uh, focus on this aspect of strengthening the intuition and if you consider the content of all these videos the content uh, is based on um, probably more of one day of work and it's a very uh, it has the impression that uh, it creates the impression that there is a very uh, different degree of accuracy between between you and them and since you are inspired to become like them you are also inspired to use analysis to reach the same level of accuracy and that's the mistake you have to rely on intuition not uh, analysis so for example of all these videos that are that are here on my front page I am certain that I like uh, every single one of them and I would like to watch them and this makes sense because this was selected with a very uh, very strong and reliable database on what kind of things I like and dislike and I am one of those with the habit of saying if I like or not a video each video that I watch I take the trouble to say if I like it or not and simply adds up to the algorithm and my front page becomes of better quality but there is a price that I will waste time if I decide to watch all these and What's funny about this is that in this environment, the concept of a goal is ridiculous. Uh, it's not enforced uh, by anybody that uh, you're getting here and uh, you are classifying things on, on the basis of a goal. And it's a simple classification and it's this kind of simple classification that will lead to a better intuition. And the algorithm is actually uh, created to fight your uh, classification of what it, what's a goal and what's not a goal and if your goal was to learn about uh, something about Python for example you're going to type in search type uh, Python and there's going to be a lot of distractions popping in, in your screen and even the videos that show up on the search are not uh, well selected so your intuition says that uh, the search engine is not good but at the same time you have to rely on it because you're on YouTube after all so you have to look at thumbnails you are uh, instructed basically you're naturally inclined to look at thumbnails, look at the title, look who did it, uh, look if it's uh, something new, if that's what uh, that's one of the parameters. And you have to decide if you're going to watch it. And uh, when you click on it, <laughs> there's a whole column that appears 
related videos including videos that weren't in the in the search list that uh, you uh, looked already and there is a small chance that there is a better video on that uh, on that new column of recommended videos so of course if there is a small chance that there is a better video uh, your brain simply decides to watch it uh, and at the same time look for a better video <laughs> so it's processing like uh, should I stay on this video should I stay on this, on this video and sometimes it decides to not stay it's a very common thing it goes one minute in and ah uh, okay it might even like the video it's watching but since there's a better video around it's going to stop that and move on Right, so let's say that uh, after this video you decide to um, remove a lot of your subscriptions which I'm doing right now and there's something else that you should be doing uh, 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 by the way uh, it's probably better to use the verb you should do instead of should be doing because you know should be doing implies some kind of multitasking that's ridiculous um, it doesn't happen in other languages, but for some reason, English speakers use uh, the, the suffix ing a lot, even for future things and past things, I guess. Uh, <coughs> so let's see. Things, uh, the, the parameters should be very simple. If there is a channel that you don't watch, you should remove it. And if you decide to watch it, then you should add it back again it's that simple if you're not watching it then you should just discard it if you have more channels than you can remember then you can easily remember then certainly you have too many channels and okay so besides that what you should be doing right after what you should do right after this is to disable the programs this the software that pushes the idea that you have to start them up with your computer there's no such thing you should you should uh, start the computer and to have a easy startup and then you should open things as you need them otherwise uh, it's like throwing away your free will it doesn't make sense You should, should see it like this, you should see uh, that you have some kind of power and that uh, you can decide if you want to scatter it, scatter it like uh, around uh, the internet or if you want to focus on one single thing.